Welcome back, everybody. Hope everyone is doing. My name is Jason. I'll be your host on this CFL talk show, Aussie's Huddle. In this video, I'll give my game picks for week 13 of the 2021 CFL season. But really quickly before we get started, if you want to support the show, the best way to do it is by hitting the like button and subscribing to Aussie's Huddle for more CFL content just like this. I greatly appreciate it. And with that said, let's get into this exciting week 13 in the CFL. Playoff races are really intensifying. It's going to be very interesting to see who misses out on the playoffs as we approach the final weeks this season. This week we have two games on Friday night and two games on Saturday. And starting on Friday night with the Stampeders visiting the Ottawa Red Blacks, I'm going to go with the Calgary Stampeders to win this game. The betting spread on this game was around 10.5 points when I just checked about an hour ago. That line may move based on how many people are punching the over on uh, Calgary to cover the spread on this one. But honestly, I think this is kind of a get-right game for Calgary. I think that uh, we're finally going to see a really good offensive performance like we have seen other teams have against Ottawa. I think it's a similar situation to Hamilton uh, game last week against Ottawa where they really got back on track offensively. And I think we're going to see a similar thing happen with the Calgary Stampeders this week. Uh, I just don't think that this Auto Red Blacks team is uh, uh, capable of beating the Calgary Stampeders right now. I think that you know maybe they keep it a little bit closer. It's going to be interesting to see who they start at quarterback. I think it's going to be Duck Hodges, but I, I haven't confirmed that by looking at the depth charts before I did this video. But it's going to be very interesting to see how it goes with the Red Blacks and if they can keep it a game here on Friday Night Football. But honestly, I'm just going to go with Calgary to win this game. I think it's going to be 31-10. Uh, to 10. I don't know. I just I just don't have much faith in Ottawa really to keep it close. I don't think they have the type of defense that will uh, cause Calgary to have the struggles that they've had so far this season. And that's why I'm going with the Stampeders to win this game. And then the second game of the doubleheader, Edmonton and Hamilton going to be a really interesting game because this is a potential trap game for Hamilton. Edmonton coming off the bye week. I had an extra week to prepare for this matchup. And Hamilton's got to be careful. They really need to capitalize and win this game. Get to that 6-5 and five record. If they can win this game and win next week against BC, they're in great shape uh, the rest of the way and positioning themselves for a home playoff game this, week, this uh, year in the CFL. And it's going to be really interesting to see if Jeremiah Mazzoli can continue his good play from the previous two weeks, like the game he had against Toronto, and then following that up with a really, really strong game against Ottawa in Week 12. So I'm going to be very fascinated to see what happens there with Mazzoli. I'm going to be watching how Brandon Banks uh, does this week. After uh, one of his better games of the season, still wasn't fantastic last week, but we'll see if he can get some forward momentum going that he hasn't been able to do so far this season. And for Edmonton, I'm watching for Taylor Cornelius and seeing if he can really uh, fend off Nick Arbuckle, who they just traded for this week. Uh, obviously, Arbuckle not going to be dressing this week, has to quarantine, but um, going to be interesting to see if Cornelius can play well enough to kind of hang on to that starting job for a little bit. Again, a, a lost season here for Edmonton. They mathematically are not eliminated yet from playoff contention. I think it's like a 2% chance of making the playoffs, but I think their defensive line can uh, give Hamilton some troubles. Hamilton obviously has had some issues with pass protection this year, but I think it's looked better the last couple of weeks. And I think Don Jackson is going to be starting at running back for the Tire Cats in this game. So there's interesting elements to watch in this game, but ultimately I think Hamilton, who is favored by around five and a half points, I think I saw, um, I think they win this game by a touchdown, and uh, I think it's going to be 24 to 16 the final score for the Hamilton's Tiger Cats in this one. And then on Saturday, I think we have the two best matchups of the week. BC traveling to Toronto. BC's backs up against the wall, absolutely getting humiliated last week by the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and for the previous week by the Calgary Stampeders as well. The line on this game was around three points in favor of Toronto when I looked this morning. And it's going to be interesting to see if Toronto can... Uh, regroup themselves after a really tough game on the offensive side of the ball last week against Montreal uh, in a really crucial game for their season. But they have not lost at home this season, which is the key thing to remember here. Um, and I think 
there are a lot of elements in play here that are going to make this a competitive game. I really don't see BC getting blown out for a third week in a row. But ultimately, I think Toronto will win this game because of the matchup between Toronto's defensive line, led by Sean Oakman, who's just been a beast at defensive tackle this season, going up against this BC offensive line that's playing really terribly right now. I'm really regressed to arguably the worst offensive line in the league the last couple of weeks. So, I mean, I think that matchup's really going to favor them. But I think the key thing to watch here is, does McLeod Bethel-Thompson bounce back for the Toronto Argonauts? Because he had a really rough game uh, through three interceptions last week against Montreal. Going to be interesting to see if he continues that trend. Does he snowball out of control? And now that they've entrusted him being the number one guy trading away Nick Arbuckle, is he going to be able to fill those shoes and become that permanent guy there in Toronto and uh, avoid the mistakes? Because he's playing against a very opportunistic BC secondary who I think is uh, second or third in the league in interception this year. They were first for a while, but I think Winnipeg's uh, passed them up in that regard. And I'm going to be very interested to watch that matchup. But ultimately, I think because of that defensive line advantage that Toronto has, and I think playing at home where they played very well this year, I think Toronto gets it done. And I think the final score in this one is going to be 25-20 in favor of the Toronto Argonauts. And then in my opinion, the best game of the week between the Saskatchewan Rough Riders traveling to Montreal to take on the Montreal Alouettes and Matthew Schultz and company. Uh, Montreal's played really well the last few weeks. Uh, been very impressive. I think the thing with them is that it was almost like they were written off when Vernon Adams went down to injury as a team that could challenge for first in the East, even though they were right in the mix of things after stringing together a few wins here. And now they're won four in a row, and their confidence is really at a sky-high level playing at home uh, this week. But here's the thing. I'm going to go with Saskatchewan to win this game uh, because... Cody Fajardo, it seems like in his career, he the last couple of seasons, he has played very well against the Eastern competition. You think even this year, uh, played very well against Hamilton early this season, played very well against Ottawa. I mean, a lot of teams played well against Ottawa, but uh, played very well against Toronto. I think those are three of his best games he's had this year. And I think against Montreal, an unfamiliar opponent for uh, this defense to go against, uh, in Saskatchewan, who they're playing for the first time this season. I think Cody Fajardo is going to have one of his better days of the season. I think it's going to be a really close game, and it's indicated by this one-point spread that we're seeing on most betting sites right now for this game. But I'm going to go with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders to win a nail-biter, 28-27, the final score. And I think, again, I think the, the advantage here is the quarterback position. I think Cody Fajardo, I just trust him more than Matthew Schultz at this point even though Schultz has played better than expected. And uh, we'll have to see if Schultz has one of these bad games. Like I said, it could happen. Uh, and if he has a horrible game, it opens the door for Trevor Harris potentially starting down the road later this season. But again, until we see that, Matthew Schultz, it's still his team for the Montreal Alouettes. And it's going to be a really interesting game. I'm very excited for that one. And uh, I think it's going to be one of the better games in the CFL this season on paper. And uh, we'll see if it turns out in reality. But with that said, those are going to be my picks for week 13 of the 2021 CFL season. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Once again, my name is Jason. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is by hitting the like button and subscribing to Aussie's Huddle for more CFL content just like this. Be sure to let me know who's winning this week in the comment section. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>